Welcome to Utopia, please make yourself a home. It's the only place on earth where you can bitch and moan. There's something here for everyone to make you feel quite great. Just as long as we've already let it through our gates. This is our dreamland. This is Utopia. Yet another little podcast for you. This is our dreamland. This is Utopia. It's where we discuss the little things and make them better for you. This is our dreamland. This is Utopia. You've got a pet peeve. We'll kick it out for you. It's a wonderful and magical and positively colourful. It's our cheeky show. By now you know. It's the Utopia Project! Hello and welcome to the Utopia Project, a cheeky little show where we chew the fat and discuss all those little things in life and decide whether or not they're part of our hypothetical utopia. I'm Chunky T and I'm joined each and every show by the world champion budgie smuggler, it's Jack Magic. Hey, good afternoon, good evening, however you are watching slash listening to us. You doing good, mate? I'm hungover to shit. Yeah, we'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm also joined by the inventor of bean flicking, it is the permanent shopping. What a spot, I'm so glad I invented. <laughs> back on the show. <laughs> back on. Back, back with glad, a vengeance. Glad to be back. And yeah, I am not hungover. Yeah. Ah. For oh. a change. For a change. <laughs> <laughs> and also working behind the scenes, we have the UK's top Gareth Bale impersonator. It is Bryn Williams. Oh, yes. I am on that one. Oh, I look fucking sick and all doing it. Have a Real Madrid jacket. Fuck you lot. Let's go. Have a great show. Having fun. Have Brent's a great turned show. Into a hooligan. You'll have, you have a fucking great show. Yeah, straight away, Bryn's like, I'm fucking sick. <laughs> oh, how are we then, boys? All good? Yeah, oh. hungover, my own fault. Yeah, but right. We power through. Yeah, uh, so, Madison. as some people will know, we record the whole season now in like one or two days. Um, and Jack decided that last night, of all nights, it'd be great to uh, just get pissed as a fart the night before. This is yeah. someone as well that also, when we used to record just two episodes in a day, within 10 minutes of doing the first episode would be yawning and saying he was tired. Yeah. So now I'm going to be tired for the whole of this season. Yeah. And Super tired. Get progressively worse. Why don't you take a leaf out of my book and just be sensible, Jack? I, f- I tried. I didn't mean to do that. I was just, it happened and then I was like, no, I can't do it. I've got, I got a podcast record tomorrow. I don't know. And then I was like, oh, I've got tequila. <laughs> so I had tequila and champagne. Champagne for everyone! Champagne, and yeah. So, yeah, and some beers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, it kind of rapidly went downhill, so I went to bed at four o'clock this morning. Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Sharpie, you're back. I'm back, baby. Back. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, happy to be back. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we I'm missed you. Good. We missed you last season. Miss you guys. Yeah. Last season we just had Bryn and it was shit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man in his hair. <laughs> He's like, just like this in the, in the background. No, it just wasn't right. Like me, me, Bryn and Jack was talking about it and was just like, it just doesn't feel right. And I think that would be the case if any of us were, weren't here. I think it was just yeah. like it's a well-oiled machine. Yeah, that it was, machine didn't it was work far right. too serious. <laughs> far too serious. It was good in the sense that it blew the cobwebs off us. Yeah. From all the coronavirus stuff, but it was it was all right. Yeah. Be glad to be back, mate. Yeah. Yeah. We're well, glad to, to have back. you back. I think I'll oh, probably halfway through this episode we'll think why is he back? Yeah. Because this is a fucking. Oh yeah. Wait, you're being zealous, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you went to get this sponsor, <laughs> right? So yeah, straight up is the sponsor. We have got a sponsor. Are you, are you ready for the sponsor bed? Single cam, please, Bryn. Let's go, baby. Are you ready, Sharpie? Oh, I'm ready. Take it away. Hmm, I have missed that theme. Okay. The Utopia Project is sponsored by Bloke A Cola. Have you ever been slurping down an ice cold cola flavoured cola beverage and thought to yourself, this drink could do with more airs on your chest? Well, me too. Bloke Cola fills the missing, missing part of your beverage experience. We've got standard Bloke Cola, which is cola with a hint of a full bottle of WD-40, with that tiny, tiny small straw included, that little, like, <laughs> one, that you don't get any small straws that small apart from bloody WD-40, do you? Well, that comes with your drink as well. The added WD-40 helps with the lubrication to make sure your drink stays wet and in turn reduces choking hazard by WD-40%. Do not swallow the small straw. 
Also in the range of 1950s gender stereotypical drinks are Bloca Cola Max, standard Bloca Cola with a gun added <laughs> and a moustache garnish. Bloca Cola Cherry, standard Bloca Cola, but with two red grenades. A Bloca Cola uncaffeinated, standard Bloca Cola. No, I'm joking, caffeine makes fucking sick. <laughs> and Bloca Cola still, standard Bloca Cola, but still. You can receive your first order at a discounted price with code WD40% off. So just go to www.blokercola slash please don't drink WD40.gun. Bloca Cola helping natural selection since 1930 gun. All right. <laughs> okay. So that is the return of the sponsor. Yeah. And. Yeah, I think you were right, Sharpie. I thought that halfway through this episode, I'd think this was carnage. But turns out it was then. Yeah, 30 <laughs> seconds in, I think we are. Yeah. yeah. Well, way. I've, I've well, kind of... Well, 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 I've kind of vowed not to ask any questions about these anymore. Because the, usually it opens up the biggest can of worms. There's a lot of worms. I do... I do think the WD-40 straw is a very underrated item in yeah. the world. What other like product comes with a straw <laughs> that small other than a bloke, a cola? Capri Sun. No, I don't think it's no, so it's small. Not no, it's, it's, it's not quite as small. It's not The inside as yeah. well is tiny, tiny. Mm. Like you can barely blow through a WD-40 straw. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it means you're going to be sipping less WD-40. So, I mean, that's like a health benefit, is you're not drinking as yeah, much uh, yeah. WD-40. Although it has got a lot of purposes. I don't know if there's been much research into it being drank. So, obviously, Bloca Cola is onto a winner there. Bloca yeah. Cola's got it, mate. Put airs on your chest, and if you make it through the day having a few slurps on that, then you are a, a very strong yeah. specimen of the human race. And yeah. also, um, just as a disclaimer, feminazis come at us like we don't we don't care it's a joke all right <laughs> is yeah. it Ch chill your beans <laughs> <laughs> um right then boys what has been going on pet peeves stories and all uh, that do you I've like got, to go first jack i got a funny story yeah um so we went to see some friends recently because uh you're allowed to now mm -hmm. um so we went over to see them not seen them in a while so i went to see them and there's all oh, right well um went over for the weekend and uh, we was like, ah, oh, well, we'll order, a, we'll order a Chinese. we get a Chinese on Saturday That's night. Cheeky. Sweet, we get a Chinese. Fucking love Chinese. How can you ever say no to a Chinese? I was like, yeah, we'll get one. Uh, so they've not long moved to the area. Um, so um, they got told off of some of their relatives. Oh, there's, a, there's a restaurant called China China. Definitely worth worth going to it's the it's the better one of the two in the, in the village nice. all right cool so, so nice they named it twice exactly um so she got the menu up ordered from there um decided what everybody wanted ordered it all um came to 60 odd quid um he's like cool ready in 15 minutes for that hefty sweet. order that. yeah yeah well me and me and liam we'll go get it um gets in the car she sent him through the address and everything gets in the car liam put the uh Put the postcode in Santa. He went WA12. Friend of mine wearing Somerset. Um, that's not Somerset postcode. Uh, that's, a a Somerset Somerset that's a Warrington postcode. postcode. That's Warrington. Isn't that uh, isn't that like Manchester? Near Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> Where Greenfields is. Yeah. Um, we was like, she's ordered from the wrong fucking Chinese. <laughs> How did you? That, that's like, like 100 miles away. <laughs> yeah, more, more than that. It's like a four hour drive, man. <laughs> Didn't you, surely you committed? I would have no. committed. Yeah. I'd I was right, saying, that's, it, that's it. You better stay open. I've ordered. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there in four hours. How good would it taste when well, you get there? Like, see this, like, I'm really hungry now. <laughs> like, yeah, see, this is the thing, right? We went back inside and he's like, don't say anything. And he walks in and he goes, uh, we can go get a Chinese if you want, but uh, it's going to be cold by the time we get back. She's like, what, what, what? You've ordered from one in Manchester. She's like, you're fucking joking. <laughs> nope, that's what you've ordered from. She's like, shit. <laughs> so, she, so she rang shit him. on it. <laughs> she rang him to try and cancel it and be like, and she was like, right, hello. And she's like, oh, hello. And she goes, I've just placed an order on Just Eat. She's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What name is it? So oh, it's Karina. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got the order. She went, yeah, I need to cancel it because I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm miles away. I'm not gonna be able to come get it. 
And she went, no, 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 they've already started cooking, so you come collect it. <laughs> and she went, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm, I'm, oh, o I'm, no. o I'm over four hours away. She's At least like, some of them were like, well, why did she, you order it then? She was <laughs> like, okay, well, you're going to have to collect. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, you it's like, to. we don't we don't deliver that far. <laughs> well, I know you don't. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't, and I, but I don't want it. There's like, no, you started cooking it, so you'll have to collect, bye. <laughs> and then just hung up on her. <laughs> so she just said, like, just no, basically, I refuse. Basically just demanded that she come and collect it. He's like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> So we left it, and then they rung back age, uh, a bit after, after we'd ordered from the right place and went to get it. And then they rung her back and was like, you come and get this food? <laughs> <laughs> left, they left her a message like, oh, we've ordered your food, your order's ready, you're going to come get the food? You no, come collect, no. you come correct. Yeah. Mate. <laughs> yeah. Get on it. Yeah, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, she's now in a battle with Just Eat to try and get her money back. But uh, in total, she spent £120 on Chinese. Oh, God. <laughs> I would have been tempted to see... £60 pound of which she didn't get. I would have been tempted just, just for an experiment because you'd gone that far to get, like, UPS or DPD or something. To, to Put it in a box. To, <laughs> it and see what state it turned up in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they yeet it over your fucking fence. Yeah. It's the safe place. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Got his silly sausages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that's like, a lot of like, ways. I feel sorry. She, like they could have given it away to someone, couldn't they? Yeah. Well, she's got some friends that are from that area, so she's gonna ring them and be like, "Well, do you want to just go, go pick it up and yeah. you can just stab what it." What I don't understand is obviously, you know, there might be some language barriers there or anything like that. But I mean, if you know, if, if you're speaking English to someone and you're having a conversation and you can, you know, book things like that. I mean, is that is that a bit put on? Like now, I'm four hours away. No, you have to. <laughs> you have to come get. No, that I'm too far away <laughs> like I can't collect it I will not get there in time you'll come get food like, it, like, that's basically what it was like he was like no I'm over four hours away I'm not going to be able to come get it and she just went okay you come collect bye <laughs> and just hung up I just don't I think as, as well like I just there must be a part of them that are just like they're having our pants down here yeah yeah you well, know, we've already paid for it. It's like, you're excuse. too fucking far away. Fucking seeing these idiots. They've been there in the kitchen, weren't they? Going, these fucking idiots. Yeah. Reckon they've, they're in Somerset. Oh yeah, I'm not having that one. I've had that one before. Yeah. What was, what was it? <laughs> you live in Somerset. Somerset. Because Karina's a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. That's what. You have not met this woman. <laughs> yeah, four Everything hours, she orders Somerset off the internet gang. is too small. <laughs> yeah. It's tiny, tiny. Yeah, to be fair, like I think I've seen a few posts. That oh, she ordered a load of lunchboxes once, and like <laughs> there's like this big. Big enough to put a single grape. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Um, that's, that's the thing. So it's just, it's just a story. Orders. Nothing you want to. How do you want? No, just I just thought I'd let you know. So it's, it, it's funny. I suppose in Utopia we could just have it that. Um, you the always order from <laughs> the local Chinese. What, whatever Chinese well, you order from, it's local. Honest, let's be honest, Karina won't get into your Utopia <laughs> because no. we, we've already banished plenty of idiots. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think uh, just there's one Chinese that offers nationwide <laughs> instant delivery. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Right. Sharpie. Yo, I've got a story as well. So it's what not you got? peeve today. Um, so it's been an odd week. <laughs> like even for me it's gone a bit like this is a bit weird man um, basically I've got a new career now alright um, so I'd left my old one and beginning of this week I didn't know I was leaving the career <laughs> um, I didn't know I'd have a new career um, and the career I'd, I'm in now I'd, I've never done it before and I don't know what to do and it's very posh and it's it's it's. I'm, I'm a bit out of my depth to be honest I don't really know <laughs> when what, are you not well, well, when are you not really I mean I do feel like I just walk into things and I've just <laughs> I've got to do it like <laughs> This is why I've done many things. Um, so yeah, I was a carer, and then that got a bit too much after Jack picked me up, and he's like, "How's day been?" I was like, "Fucking dreadful! I can't and then it, do it." It turned out he didn't care. He <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> did, but if anything, he cared too much. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, "No, I'm walking <laughs> two hours to work, two hours from work, thirteen hour day, dealing with some horrible stuff." I thought this this isn't. I didn't win at anything <laughs> out of before, this. before we continue, can I just raise the point of I don't get how at any point you thought that was sustainable. I didn't he pick was it. He I was getting up. Like, he was getting up at four in the morning, right. walking two hours to work. Mm. Bear in mind, it's two hours walk each way. Walking two hours to work, doing a 12-hour shift, 13-hour shift. Yeah, 13 hours. Yeah, then two hours home. 
He was getting up at four. I would like to point out, I told my new employer this, and he was like, dedication. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> bit silly. <laughs> <laughs> bit silly. Right. It's when, he, when he, came, he popped into my shop, actually, Yeah. because um, he'd been doing <laughs> these walks. And he went, can I have a plaster? I was like, yeah, what do you want? He cut yourself. He's like, no, it's for the blisters on my feet. And I was like, Okay, I thought, oh, he's probably got some new shoes and that. Turns out he's got no ankle left. <laughs> yeah. Because he's worn away from his shit. And he's, he's using a mask, a clinical mask, <laughs> wrapped around his heel to hold his ankle together, <laughs> let alone ease his wounds. Oh, yeah. my new employer, innovative. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that genuine? Is that what they said? <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to roll these turns and glitters, mate. Honestly, wow. I've ended up in a career that I've, you know, you've probably got to have experience for, but I've, yeah, I might haven't. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so um, oh. go for a job interview. Job interview is um, as, a, as a mixologist, okay? So fancy word for bartender or like cocktail maker. I can't mix a fucking protein shake half the time. Never done bar work in my life, but I thought I'd go for the interview anyway because, you know, after the little breakdown of like, I can't do this anymore, it's not a sustainable job, I'd try anything else. So go to interview. Nice shirt, nice waistcoat, looking like I know what I'm doing, don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> we roll with it and we got that sort of like presence about it, even if you don't have a clue. Dress for the job you want. Dress yeah. for the job you want and the one that you don't have a clue about. <laughs> um, but yeah, go go to uh, Mixologist in the Hilton, in the Electric Bar in uh, in Lincoln. And it's, you know, get shown around and whatnot, a little bit of a chat and just, yeah, yeah, I've got people skills, I can do this and the other, I've got no experience in it. Sit down and obviously the world's opening up next week, isn't it? So um, everything's bars and all that is going to be, you know, big time. Um, sit down there. So more or less, it was like, you know, if you've got people skills and whatnot, um, do, you, do you want a job? I was like, yeah, all right, well, can you go help over there then? Can you start now? I was like, yeah. <laughs> but they just what? went, start now. What? Yeah. And literally, <laughs> I went from the interview Zero experience. With, with the forms that I was filling in, put them down, and then start setting up tables. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm not even kidding <laughs> you. Mid interview, they're like, where you start now? People are flying about getting ready for next week. And they're like, do you want the job? Like, yeah, I, was like, I think the guy that was interviewing me as well was like, I've come from London and I don't do all this fucking about with, uh, oh no, do I want it? Do I not want it? If you want it, just go, let's go. I was just like, right, go, go, go. Innovative. All right, innovative. Dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, just roll with it, just roll with it. And then walking in and then area managers in there and they were doing like a food tasting um, thing for like the new menu. And uh, first job, she's like, these little um, pot of olives. Um, she was like, can you... Uh, <laughs> I've heard this story. <laughs> <laughs> can you put two, um, what are they called? Toothpicks. Um, cocktail sticks. Cocktail sticks. See, I know absolutely nothing about this. <laughs> um, <laughs> can you put two in, in the olives, in the, in the little pot, so then people can come by and they can take one and whatnot. So obviously I'm like, first job, I will read it as I hear it. She comes back. I'm like, No, this, you did what you <laughs> was told. I, yeah, technically I did what I was told. Yeah. And then obviously people so in hospitality didn't, didn't get that. Um, obviously I'd only been in hospitality for about <laughs> a minute and 35 seconds or something. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so that's, that's a long time. Yeah, I mean, it felt like a really long time. Um, <laughs> I've been doing yeah. this forever. Sam. She comes back, and I'm like, because obviously it's Hilton. I was like, this is posh. It's all fancy. They probably do weird shit, like you know, like fancy bits that don't make any sense. It's more art than food. So I'd made art, but it wasn't <laughs> practical food. I put two toothpicks or cocktail sticks in every olive, <laughs> and I took every olive out of the jar. Because <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, I don't know. I mean, I we just need got two. hired you two need... minutes ago. A minute ago, I was trying to remember how many bloody hotels they've got. And next minute, I'm putting, fuck, I'm jabbing olives. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you just have a oh. bowl of olives and then just a couple yeah, of toothpicks in there. Yeah, so you yeah, can just grab a toothpick and be like, yeah. oh, I have an olive. Then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have another it, olive. She was like, put two in each. Yeah, it, well, she didn't say each, obviously, but she was like, put two things in the olives. So I was like, 
right? <laughs> might look a bit like that. Imagine that's the olive. So you, like that. I thought there might be some. I love that visual. <laughs> that's the olive. <laughs> might be a bit fancy. Maybe it's like one you can eat, you can hold it. The other one you can like yeah. cut bits off with. Yeah. And also, what I failed to register was obviously it was food tasting for the staff for the menu. So it wasn't. Why would we be setting up a la carte like <laughs> style presentation for the staff? But I was also staff at this point now. Um, yeah, she comes back and I'm like, check that out. She's like, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> she didn't say that. She just looked at me like I needed help. Like, she's like, no. How long have you worked yeah, here? Yeah, I was like, not as long as you. <laughs> How long have you worked here? I didn't even finish my interview yet. <laughs> Literally. So I just sort of sat down and then they'd fixed it. And I was like, right, first job in hospitality. Fuck that up. Great. Well, set the bar low so it can only get better. Yeah. Expectations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that, but I got to eat quite a lot of food then as well. Because I'm, you know, a bit of skin. So I'm on my fucking toast and all that business. And they've got all these fancy foods and whatnot. Had me some... Um, Deep fried cauliflower, a bit of cheesecake, went back to like some burger and like all fancy bits and whatnot. So that was all right. Um, and then, weirdly enough, I went back to the guy that was interviewing me and it, this wasn't part of the menu. Just thought, do you want this sausage sandwich? And, <laughs> <laughs> and it was just in like, it was like a takeaway sausage sandwich. I mean, I might turn it down. I mean, I've gone for an interview, had a sausage sandwich, done some fancy bits of olives and I was like, yeah. So they were like, you will get paid for this as well. So I was like, is that my first shift then? So in the space of from Monday to what day was it? Thursday. Th- right? Thursday. Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah, I'd completely changed careers, and now I'm I'm mixing cocktails at a very, <laughs> very swanky bar. I've just been sort of like, imagine that's a drink. <laughs> Bit of that. That's um, about what I can the do. The biggest faux pas. He came to my shop not long after the interview. I said, oh, could you do me a favour and just pop over and get me a bottle of Coke? He came back, he's like, oh, my first job. And I said, I'll tell you what, here's two pound. Get yourself something nice. He's like, oh, my first tip as well. (laughs) And he come back and he's like, here's your drink. And I was like, you're just shaking up my bottle of Coke, you idiot. (laughs) (laughs) Here's your drink. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you. Shaking our stem, mate. Well, if I don't practice. I mean, I don't know a lot about like bartending and mixology and all that, but like... I don't, don't think shake a coke. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a coke, please, certainly, sir. Mate, I found out that egg whites to... go in some drinks now, like yeah. raw egg whites. And I mean, if that's happening, I can shake a coke, mate. That's going to give you less <laughs> Again, salmonella. Innovator. Oh, yeah. Innovator. Yeah. I roll with it, I look the part, I pretend to know what I'm doing, and then, you know, I'll probably find another career next week. But yeah. Well, uh, yeah, very odd week. Like, <laughs> I'm a mixologist now. Don't yeah. get a drink from me. Like, by, the, by the time the season's aired and got like gone out and everything, by the end of this season airing, you might have a new career for all we know. I might do. Yeah. I might just walk <laughs> into something else. Be, like. like, yeah, I'm a zookeeper now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have seven tigers. Yeah. <laughs> just try it and see what happens. Just call but... him Chris Exotic. Yeah. Hey, if you saw me in my waistcoat and I was... <laughs> Shaking his phone about. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking up a shit, barman. He'd either think, well, he knows what he's doing. I'd put well, me why is he shaking his phone and texting on my drink? Pouring lemonade on everybody's iPads. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take an iPad into the hills? Just calling <laughs> cocktail sticks in things. Yeah. I'll just be doing that. I'll boogie about a bit. I'll have a bit of a dance. I'll, I'll make some drinks and we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. I'll, yeah, yeah, but it's been odd, mate. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, yeah. Glad to have you back. Glad to yeah. hear that story. That's refreshed me a lot. Um, I think that's everything for now. Yeah. We need to just uh, cross ourselves over to the Utopian Press newsroom. Hello and welcome to the Utopian Press Newsroom. A man in Glasgow has become the first Scottish person to manage a whole 24 hours without drinking iron brew, but more on that later. Over to Sharpie with the traffic and travel. Oh, traffic and travel. The M62 has been closed following a multi-vehicle collision near Rochdale. Emergency services are at the scene close Rakewood Viaduct at Littleborough between junctions 21 and 22. Drivers are being warned to expect delays in the area. All eastbound traffic has been halted following the crash just before 7.30pm. 
Transport for Greater Manchester tweeted M62 eastbound J21-22 Rakewood traffic temporarily stopped. This is due to a multi-vehicle collision. Officers are on scene. However, delays are expected in the area. To avoid delays, please seek an alternative route. Lincoln's all right. <laughs> okay. And then over to Jack with the weather report. That was actual news, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was actual Right, we'll, we'll talk about that. Jack. Um, <laughs> tragic news. Uh, a cargo ship carrying shoes from overseas ran into heavy weather and sank. Only one man has been rescued. He was found using the shoes as a makeshift flotation device. He was the sole survivor. <laughs> I had a great weekend, though. I won the annual Weather Forecasters uh, Championships. I'll be the reigning champion. Hey. <laughs> Back to you. Okay, now we go over to Bryn with the, the sports re- about that with the sports report. Just some sports news for you now, and it turns out the front runner in this week's Utopian Pig Racing Championships, Chris P. Bacon, has had to pull out due to an infected eye. It was expected that he would trot past the competition and hog all of the medals this year. Unfortunately, it looks like the number two contender. Piggy Smalls will now be the winner of everything. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for that, Bryn. Uh, Now, boys, it's time for Ridiculous News. It's the Ridiculous News. It's stupid and it's been in the news. Old stories from around the world. They're here for us to abuse. Zero. Heroes and weirdos, we've got a few. It's the ridiculous news. Whammy! Hello, ridiculous news this week's. Goats that took over a Welsh town are now shopping at Primark. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, there's a fly here. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I said ages ago about start of lockdown, the uh, goats would come out from down from the mountains and started taking over Landudno in Wales. Right, okay. Apparently now they've been shopping at Primark. All right. Yeah. Um, they, they've been spotted queuing up outside the barbers and invading hotels, but these famous mountain goats are clearly in need of some retail therapy. Will Roberts came across at least 15 of the curious goats outside Primark in Landudno on Wednesday. Unfortunately for them, the government's closure of non-essential shops during lockdown means that they will have to wait several weeks before they reopen. Will said, I was cycling to work at 8am expecting to pass through an empty park, uh, an empty park Landudno, when I noticed the goats heading straight for Primark. (laughs) Right, okay. Yeah, they obviously want some sick new clothes or new crepes or something. Yeah. And a haircut. Yeah, and a haircut. They're just taking they need over to go and see the... Is it a village or a town? They need to go and see the... Barber. <laughs> the barber. Yeah, it said it made me laugh, so I stopped to take some photos. I think I counted 15 in total. Um, I thought I was getting accustomed to seeing them about, but they keep managing to pop up in new and more surreal places. In the spring lockdown last year, the goats who live on the Great Orm Headland by, uh, by the Welsh seaside town achieved global notoriety for invading the traffic-free streets. And when Wales went into, down into lockdown again, uh, they became even more adventurous, with one even checking in to a hotel. How? I don't know, but some of them could come in Do like, Margo. I'd like a room, please. <laughs> Sorry, gonna... Billy. We're <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, Sorry, Billy. <laughs> Barbara's already got a room. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah. Thoughts, Sharpie? <laughs> <laughs> he said, before the pandemic, the 120 strong army of goats were more commonly spotted munching on the grasslands of the Great Orm, but they are now regular visitors who seem to enjoy having free roam of the deserted streets, climbing walls, eating plants and hedges, and generally causing mischief. Oh, that little mischief is buggers. buggers yes. Bloody little buggers. Little buggers. Jack? Yes? Uh, yes, Brent? Are you sure they're not milking it? Oh, they yeah. probably are milking it. Oh, that's bad. I'm surprised, they're not <laughs> just, I'm surprised they're not just ramming people out of the way. <laughs> yes. Oh, all the puns. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, that's, that's just good ridiculous news this week. Yeah. Awesome. Um, just to circle back, Sharpie, was that actual news in your report? Yeah, I am not bring fake news. That, was, that happened last night. Oh. In Manchester. 
Oh, uh, oh. Um, <laughs> we don't often go for that. <laughs> we don't, especially not like, the, ridi- like, the ridiculous news. pile up collisions are not really what we bring to a comedy podcast. <laughs> We're not censoring <laughs> the media. Right? We are here to, to like they found an alternative route. Now someone out there is going to go. I'm going to go around that man. No, it's all going to be good. If it happened last night. It's probably cleared this up. This episode's not out till mid July. Right. <laughs> um, well, just in case. I've got a feeling it might be reopened by now. We don't know how big it was. <laughs> it wasn't specified. <laughs> um, okay. Um, worries me for future newsrooms just because we've got a few of these and you might be reporting actual news, <laughs> albeit quite late. But, <laughs> um, hey, news is news. He's got, I think he's hey, got the I'm weather legit. report on the next one. So. I'm, legit. I'm legit as fuck. <laughs> so okay. Just for record for the listeners, the ridiculous news that I provide, is, they are genuine real yeah, the news stories. the ridiculous news is real. The, the headlines Our that you headli- provide. Yeah, headlines and like, sports. And sports and that are made up. Yeah, the... the uh, they? Or, they're supposed to, <laughs> <laughs> or they're supposed to be, shall we? Yeah. We never had this conversation. <laughs> um, uh, right. I can't uh, blame the guy for trying. Well, we'll talk about this at the post-production meeting, shall yes. we? Um, <coughs> yes. Uh, all good? Happy? Yeah, that's the news. Happy yeah. days, happy days. Little mischievous goats. Yeah. Right. Goat. Okay, Bloody then, boys. Us. Let's go back to us in the studio. It's time for Top 11. Is it high or lower? It's time for Top 11. Is it a bow or a shower? It's time for Top 11. You think you're in the know? It's time for Top 11. Let's go! Hello, and welcome to Top 11. We're in the game zone, boys. Season Hello. three, first game zone. Yeah, man. It's becoming a bit of a tradition now that we start off with top eleven. Still my favourite theme tune. It is a good one, isn't it? I can't. I love it. Yeah. Good game things. Do you reckon you're going to come back with a vengeance this season, Sharpie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I smashed it out of the park um, with Bryn last time. I think, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, no, Bryn actually we destroyed you last season, mate. Uh, I don't think you won any of them. I thought, no, I thought, <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, you thought knows. you won all of them. Yeah. You both did really well on top of that. I think it might have actually been a tie because I didn't do a tiebreaker on season two. Yeah. I think. Oh, I can't so remember. what I said was Bryn won. Yeah, yeah. Because fuck you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. <Yeah. laughs> all right, then, boys, should we get on with it? Um, so to explain the game, it's very much higher or lower, play your cards right. So we'll pull uh, an item out of the hat. That's the starting point. <laughs> then the taking turns, pulling another one out. And the boys will guess whether it's high or lower on that list. Um, yeah, you'll also get, we're introducing a little bit of a, you'll get one opportunity of phone a friend, which will be, well, ring a Bryn is what I'm saying. Ring a Bryn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you'll be able to ask Bryn what he thinks. I believe he's sort of half seen the list, so right. he's kind of got some inside knowledge if you're unsure. Do we both get one attempt one, at that? One, yeah. One, one attempt one, each. One, he gets a- one. One ring a bring each. Well, then, ring when a you bring. use it, it's up to you. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes, Brim. Ring a bring. Yeah, ring a bring. Ring a bring. <laughs> Not like a dialer cab. <laughs> ring a bring. Yeah. Um, right. So this week, boys, we are doing the top eleven songs of the nineties. Yeah, boy. According oh. to Rolling Stone. I'll be Rolling honest. Stone. Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone. Rolling to Rolling Stone magazine. <laughs> it's a bit of rock and roll. <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you. This isn't the definitive top 11 list. This is a, like one that I've amalgamated out of the top 50 that they published. Right. Because I wanted it to be songs that I thought you guys would know. Right. Some of them were a bit that 90s that you wouldn't know. They yeah. weren't like bangers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The 90s. Right, boys. Do you want to pull one out and see where you're starting at? You're back first, Sharpie. You go first, Thanks, sir. sir. Did you say you're black, Sharpie, or you're back? <laughs> no, I said you're back, Sharpie. Oh, so you I, was like, what? I was like, that's a very strange thing to say. <laughs> Why would I say that? I don't no. know. You're yeah, wrong well. over, mate. Anything can happen. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, it's all one. Right. Yeah, you got one fold it, mate. It's all stuck together. It's going to one nil. Right. No Scrubs, TLC, Ooh, no Scrubs. Right, so Boys are gonna can't yeah. get no love from me. Oh, is it that song? Yeah. Hanging out the passenger side, side of his best friend's ride. ride. Trying to holler at me. me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, right, Jack. Well, do you want to go first, Jack? 
Uh, or, or do you want yeah, well, to well, go that, next? You go next, because that, that's yeah. just the benchmark. That's, you know, that's the starting point, then. Okay. So, the next one, higher or lower than No Scrubs by TLC. So is this like the way it was in the charts? Uh, I, I think it's just like most popular, I believe. Oh. Like I say, it's just like a roll, rolling like, stone. Oh, so it's oh, yeah, uh, really just like top rated, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We have got Self Esteem, The Offspring, 1994. Oh. Someone sing it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, it's okay, because I got no self esteem. Oh, yeah. You, I think you'd know it if you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you didn't hear it then. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. That's like I was trying to pretend to know what it what is. I, I was going to do, because there was that much shit to sort out with all this new equipment, I was going to have clips of all the songs. But I haven't, so yeah. <laughs> I think you'll know most of the other ones. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna say that's lower than no scrubs. Locking it in. Yes. You are correct. Lovely. Sweet. One for sure. Good start. I'll get one. Yeah. Get my you write down your thing. Yeah. Got so one point. Hmm. Over goes to a tiebreaker because uh, yeah, can you do that? Uh, I've got all right by Supergrass. Rings a bell, but we can't. are young, we are free, um, we are big, but I'm big. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, that one. Say I'm here, I'm here. I'm gonna say higher. You say higher? Yeah, than Offspring. Are you sure? Yeah. Locking it in. Lock it in. It is. Correct. Sick. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Got beat. Next one, then, mate. Why not? Bam, 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 bam. Come on. Boy of Gods. <clears throat> Baby Got Back by Sir Mix A Lot, wow. 1992. <laughs> you know that one? You sing it. You don't know that one? Just sing it. <laughs> I like, like big butts and a can that lie. You other brothers can't deny. When you go go to with a little bit of waste and around thing in your face, you get sprung. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it higher or lower than Supergrass? Ooh, I'm going to say higher. You say higher? Mm-hmm. Locking it in? Yes. You are correct. Ooh, nice. Cheeky. Oh, that's two for two. It's sharpie, mm. mate. I won now. <sighs> Ooh, Wonderwall by Oasis. Oh, how does <laughs> that one go, Sharpie? <laughs> I said maybe. I'm gonna be the one said maybe said maybe <laughs> I'm gonna be the one said maybe <laughs> That's good that yeah. <laughs> I don't right Is it was, that higher it was like or he was lower? actually in the room no, I don't know <laughs> Is got that higher or about. lower then uh, the baby got back I think higher You think higher Yeah I think it'd be silly not to be higher I think higher. Yeah. Lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it oh, I think it was two close. Two. Have you got any numbers or? Yeah, I've got. I'll go through the list afterwards, right. mate. All right, Sharpie, your go. Yeah, we go. Just because I think on that one, uh, Baby Got Back would have been higher in the US, but I think no, Wonder Woman would have been Oasis higher in the UK. No, because Oasis was massive in the in the US. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, they love it over there. Oh, yeah. really? They love a bit of the Gallagher. Weirdo British. Yeah. Band. I watched that documentary on Netflix. It's like, they were fucking big. <laughs> the sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> no diggity. Black Street, 996. Oh, no no diggity. I'm Got about to bag, bag it up. Bag it up now. Yes. I like the way you work here. No, no diggity. diggity. I'm, I'm about, about to bag, bag it up. Bag it up now. I think that's. Uh, <laughs> <I like> that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to do a little rendition of each song? I think right, so we're going to have to, because Jarvid clearly has never heard any music. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. Other than Oasis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, even then he sang it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's lower than Oasis. I think that's lower. Mm-hmm. Locking it in. You are... <laughs> incorrect. No, that's, oh, yeah. that's wrong. <laughs> it's higher. <laughs> <laughs> You can't come back here, mate. You're calling the odds. Hey, look, I said, mate. You <laughs> left us high and dry last season. You can't come in here and shout the odds. Odds! <laughs> there yeah, was no humour last season. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> People who enjoy Countdown started watching us. Yeah. Because of you. 
Oh. Yeah, because of you having <laughs> mental issues. How dare you? Yeah. Oh, well, I was having a great time. It was all fun and games <laughs> in my house. <laughs> oh, how dare Just you take time off for your own You're well okay being. now, aren't you? Not like, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. Not really. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Right. Smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> easy ones. What was the last one? Um, it was... <laughs> last one was, was it... Uh, no, no diggity, wasn't it? No diggity. Yeah. Uh, back it up. <coughs> I'm going to say... Uh, excuse me. I'm going to say higher. you say higher? <laughs> yeah. Locking it in? Lock that bitch in. Correct. Okay, look, Job's done. Mm. Next it's one. It's 4 2 to Jack now, mate. I only got one wrong. What's going on there? <laughs> Jack gets the point if you get it wrong. <laughs> Torn. Natalie in Bruglia. 1998. Don't tell me you don't know that. I've never heard the name. I know songs, I don't is know that, names. Is that. A loser never stay into something real. Like no, 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 like no, 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 that's floor. Dido. No, he's not. Yes, no, he is. I'm but already torn. Torn. No. <laughs> torn. You got those songs? <laughs> um, I think that's lower than Teen Spirit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Locking it in. Yeah, go on, them. You correct? Yes, sir. Four, three, Jack. Oh. <sighs> Oh, you're tired, mate. <laughs> you're bored of this game. Born <laughs> Slippy, Underworld. Oh, dark boy, dark boy, but you know me, dear boy. In a doorway, boy, she wore lipstick, boy, and tears, boy, and like a, like a, like a, etc. Shouting! Like a, like a, like a. Um. <laughs> I don't think that needed any backing vocals because oh. that's all it is, isn't it? Yeah. Just a bloke it shouting. Shoot, no. <laughs> shouting! Um, I think he's like he's been he's, he's obviously sung the lyrics, but he's read the instructions on it as well, though, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, I what is it what again? Was it? It's the no, last one. I wanna go higher, but I think I'm gonna use my ringer brin. Yeah? Yeah. Just Ring a Bryn, go on then, Bryn, what we got, what do you reckon? Uh, what can I do, lad? Uh, he's up, he's up, Bryn. Yeah, oh, like, like, he's he's blood, Bryn. I'll carry you take his shit, what can I do for you? <laughs> Jack wants a taxi. I've got, uh, I got <laughs> Jack here, he's, uh, he's winning currently at top 11, but I uh, need your help with this one. Is a uh, Bond Slippy Underworld higher or lower than Torn by Natalie and Bruglia? Um, yeah, uh, I have to do the second story now. Um, higher, I think. <laughs> um, Thanks for that. Yeah, that'll do. A bit. I'm off to take a shit. It's wow. higher. He says higher. Uh, Are you going to trust him or not? I want to know what that impression was. Is it Chris Tarrant? <laughs> it was, or was, it, it was like, like Chris Tarrant, but it kind of, I just did what I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, Sharpie. <laughs> That's my input. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go higher. You're going to go stick higher. higher. Locking it in? Yeah. I feel like that's wrong, but I'm going to go higher. Incorrect. Shit. Lower. Really? Yeah. I've... With all that shouting, <laughs> like, 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 yeah. like, like. shouting. Then that you get a song high, you scream it <laughs> through the chart. Yeah. But uh, to be fair, I think it was probably more of a. Although it was a massive song, I think it was more of a niche kind of song for like the like, ravers and that one. Is it it, rather than... No, it's uh, Underworld. It's no, it's Underworld. That's why on here it says Born Slippy by Underworld. <laughs> <laughs> and not Fatboy Slim. I'm sure. Born Slippy. <laughs> Born Slippy by Fatboy Slippy. <laughs> Fatboy Slippy. <laughs> slippy, 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 Fatboy Slippy. Slippy, Slippy, Fatboy. <laughs> right, um... Next one, Sharpie. Next one, Sharpie. Or all at the minute, boys. Also, take a shit Bryn. Fucking steered me down the wrong way, didn't he, prick? He thought he was oh. higher. Around the World by Daft Punk. How's that go? Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Around right, should we vote on it or what? <laughs> what are the rest of the words? <laughs> that's it. I thought it was. Um, I think that's higher. You think that's higher? <laughs> and what was the last one? <laughs> Shit. Oh, Fatboy Slim. Fatboy Slippy. Fatboy Slippy. Fatboy Slippy under a fat boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Higher, you yeah. say? Locking it in. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you my arse went then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Five, four, oh, that's four. One. Be. <clears throat> last one should be common people are pulled. How's that? What? How's that go? It is. Common wanna people. live with common people. Oh, yeah. Wanna do, do whatever common, common people, people do. do. <laughs> you made that one up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's real. You, you lying. What was he against? <laughs> Around the world. Yeah. Uh... <coughs> lower. I think lower. I'm going lower. Sure, you want to go lower? I really want to do the tie break. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to go higher? I think you should go higher. I'll oh, go I higher. Swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Sharpie hates cheating. I'll go higher. Why am I steering you the wrong way? I'll go higher. Am I doing it? <laughs> Locking it in? Yeah, higher. <laughs> Fuck. <Mate. laughs> you were right. You were right. I was right at higher. higher. Yes. Oh, what? So oh. it's a tie break. No, we so we cheat that. at games now. <laughs> <laughs> I will start shouting! <laughs> liar, 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 liar! Shouting! Diet Coke! <laughs> mega, mega knob, baby! Mega, mega. <laughs> right, so just the final list that wow. obviously you two pretty much got right all the way through, and it was a fair draw at the end. Yeah. Um, uh, number 11 was Self Esteem by The Offspring. Number 10 was All Right by Supergrass. Number 9 was Born Slippy, Underworld. Number 8 was Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Number 7 was Around the World by Daft Punk. Number 6 was Torn by Nat Nat Natalie Imbruglia. Number 5 was Wonderwall by Oasis. Number 4 was No Scrubs by TLC. Number 3 was Common People by Pulp. 2 was No Diggity by Blackstreet. And at number 1 was Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Nice. Not the fucking top dog. Right, boys, I'll give you a scrap of paper and a pen. I just thought, why is it going to the tiebreaker? Because I got the last one right, and it was 5-4 to me, wasn't it? No, it's 5-4 to Sharpie. Oh, right, I see. There you go, a bit of paper for you, Sharpie. A bit of paper for you, Jack. There's a pen there for you. Bryn, can you sort out just a pen? There should be one to your left, just for oh uh, Mr. Jack to have. For the tiebreaker. I'll just share the... Give me a little I'll just share right next to you, mate. There we go. Thank you. Right, boys. So, the tiebreaker is... Candle in the Wind is the best-selling song of the 90s. By Elton John. Do you know that song, Sharpie? I don't know. So that, that, that isn't it. <laughs> 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 so you lived your life like a candle in the wind. Because I didn't use Jackie. my ring of Brit, can I get him just to do a rendition? He doesn't know the song either. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> um, but like how many copies did it sell? I'm not going to say to the nearest this or nearest that, you just got to. Mm. It's in the millions, is what I will say. So. Closest answer will win. Write it down. You have 10 seconds starting now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sharpie. 25 million. 25 million copies. <laughs> 18 million copies. 18 million copies. Right, well, you're both really far out. Oh. <laughs> The answer is 4,864,611. Well, so Jack wins after he scraped it with the tiebreaker on his own accord. <laughs> with the cheating. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was top 11, boys. Nice, nice. Happy? Nice Good to game. be back. That was top Ch liars. <laughs> 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 top 11 liars. Tep top 11 scumbags. I will concede. Sharpie won that fair and square because I was going to go for the wrong one. But the tiebreaker was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Why okay. did you really want to do that? That was shit. No, just because I've done one this time. Um. <laughs> it's the one time. Every time it's been a draw, I've gone, oh shit, and a tiebreaker. And then a tiebreaker. We'll flip this coin. <laughs> yeah. I've done a tiebreaker. Oh, well, it's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okie dokie. Sweet. Uh, Brent, can you take us over to the Thunderdome, please? He wants to. Is it on it? Is it? Are we on the? Are we in there? Are we in there? We're are in we? the. We're in. We're in there. We're in the Thunderdome, boys. We're in it. Right. So, lads, let me get my notes back up. Right. 
for those who haven't watched or listened before, what we're doing in the Thunderdome is I give the boys a category or a field of work and they bring a character or a personality from that field of work and we pit them together in a Top Trump style battle. The winner will be welcomed into the gates of Utopia and the loser will be cast into the Utopian volcano never to be seen again. Ooh. Yes. Ah, so boys, we are doing this week the best sitcom double act. Yes, Queen. I think we've done this category before in some fashion. I'm sure we've done something to do with sitcoms. Yeah, um, we're running out of things to do. Basically. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be like the ne next one will be like the best person to have hands. I'll something come up with like some that. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll got some things. Uh, can we have, uh, yes, Fred? Can we have top nonce next time? Top, top, top nonce. nonce. <laughs> nonce. Savile versus um, Harris. Can That's we what do, it'll be. Um, <laughs> Because I've already got the winner. Okay. Um, can we do uh, literally the worst person ever? What, is it going to be me, isn't it? No, it's going to be me. Oh, That's mate. all my missus keeps saying to me recently. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't think I'm the worst. Like, there are worse people than me. Uh, yeah, I think... I mean, um, like, Hitler was a pretty bad dude, wasn't he? Yeah, Bin Laden, I think. Yeah, I think he's up like there. That. He's yeah. up on that list, isn't yeah, he? Good face, though. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, compared to me not loading the dishwasher, right? I don't think that's <laughs> right. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Green noise is it? A sausage? That's what? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And that's why we keep his microphone turned down. Too, too shake, good sir. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> right, who wants to go first, boys? I'm easy. What are you saying? Uh, you go for it, I'll sir. I'll go first. Get back in the feel of things. Right, yeah. so you'll have about, around about two minutes to do your pitch, and then uh, we'll return. Okay. Right, cool. Ready? Three, two, one. They starred in a British TV sitcom on the BBC. It ran for 26 episodes in four series and aired from 1976 to 1985. The setting is a small grocer's shop in Balby, Doncaster. The owner is a middle-aged miser with a stammer and a knack for selling. His nephew is his put-upon errand boy who blames his work schedule for his lacklustre social life. Across the road lives Nurse Gladys, occupied by her professional rounds and her elderly mother, Arkwright longs to marry Gladys, but she resist, resists his persistent pressures. This one's short and sweet, but it is of course G -g 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 Granville and Arkwright from Open All Hours. Well, quite spectacular for the first episode, Jack, yeah. but since you're hung over, I'll, uh, I'll let you off. Yeah. What do you mean um, quite spectacular? Usually you're like, it is the... Uh, yeah. And then you're just, just like, yeah, just it's, it's, it's it then. I was, I was more burning up to the gay, 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 gay Granville. Yeah. <laughs> looking for that was a better job. Looking for, <laughs> looking for <laughs> bear, 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 burglars. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> Never seen it? I think so. Oh, that's brilliant. They, they did a, <laughs> they did a, they've done a remake recently called Still Open All Hours, and it's... <laughs> it's... 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 Uh, <laughs> David Jason. Um, is David Jason, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, but obviously now he's old, yeah. and the guy who played Arkwright obviously has since died. So it's oh, now shit. it's now Granville, who was his apprentice in the original Open All Hours, has got the shop, yeah. and he's doing the same thing with his nephew. What? <laughs> Don't worry. About Question it. is, have they got I... a license for a twenty-four hour business? <laughs> I don't. Think it's not a twenty-four hour business. Open all hours, uh, all, every hour. <laughs> No, 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 just do yours. No? Well, they ain't got <laughs> right, Sharpie, two, two minutes for your yours. pitch. Are Sheet you ready? One. Okay. Right, ready. try not to wobble the table. Hold. Ready? <laughs> yeah. The time starts now. So this dynamic duo has been on British television since 1981. The show consisted of seven series and concluded in 2003. This well-known pair were always trying to look for the next idea to fast-track them to the fortunes, however always come up short with whatever dodgy products they could get their hands on and missing out on success in the heart of Peckham, South East London. This duo with a life and show... This... It, the duo <laughs> with a life of the show and gained the award of Britain's best sitcom by the BBC poll in 2004. I, that, I don't think that's a spe spectacular like thing, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the show gained great publicity and is still to this day seen as one of the great classics still aired on Channel Gold. The comedy duo has been an incredible relationship with each other and storyline throughout 
the various seasons which grip the viewers seeing the highs and lows of their struggles to get by has always been at the top of British humour. It is of course Del Boy and Rodney from Only Fools and Horses. I think, I don't know if I've not got the timer set up right, but I think you went over your time, I don't know. I never did. <laughs> uh, I never did. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Del Boy and Rodney. Yeah. Big mm. swinger. Only Fools and Horses. David Jason in both. Yeah. Oh. Mm, that's weird. Yeah. Um, Interesting. What do you reckon, boys? Obviously, I think mine and he thinks his. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I, got, I, mean, I mean, there is only one classic out of that. Like, they're both... Open all hours. No. Oh. Only fools and hours. <laughs> um, Brent, would you like to have a bit of chime in? Uh, yeah, don't worry, Rob, they jumped on. <laughs> all right, wow. job done. Yeah, I think he's got, he's got to be down by Rodney, hasn't he? I suppose they are the classics, aren't they? I, do, I just really like Open All Hours, just with his stammer, and he, like, he does it really well. Yeah. Um... Boy and Rodney. No, we come tax no VAT. Oh, yeah, that was the theme tune, wasn't it? Yeah. Got us help. Why, got... I don't know why you two always do this. You always pick obscure, not obscure ones, but some you don't really know that much about. Yeah, but if I did the ones that I knew about, I'd be like, what the fuck's that? <laughs> um, you actually told me, so you need to pick ones that people know. Yeah, <laughs> and you know. I, like, know. I know a bit of Del Boy, a bit of the old wheeling and dealing. <laughs> bit of the old wheeling and dealing. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Yellow car and stuff. Uh, I would concede that. It's got to be Del Boy and Rodney, yeah. isn't it? Del Boy and Rodney. Welcome to uh, the Utopia. U the Utopia? The Utopia. Is that what we do? Yeah. Utopia. So we go, can you do the, the, the horn for me? That's not That's the horn. horn. That's, That's not the horn. That's a bugle. <laughs> that is the horn, but it's wrong, that. obviously, on the board. Right, uh... Yeah, this press, one. No, there's a black arrow there. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Now do it. Ah, there, there we go. go. There's the. Blue. Welcome to Utopia, Dullboy and Rodney. Unfortunately, I'm right. You pop. Sorry, mate. I'd rather it be quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather it be quick. Yeah. All right then. I don't want him to fall into a volcano and have to walk up there. Poor old fucker. <laughs> Okay. Look at the flowers, aren't right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brent, oh, can you take flowers, us back to the flowers, mate? Uh, go, 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 bang. Outro, please, oh. mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, right. Um, episode one, season three. Dawn and Dusted. Things. Happy Jack. Never. Yeah. <laughs> He's thinking, why did I agree to do a full season of the day? Yeah. You have yeah. experience with a Sharpie got a nice early night. I bet you did. What time did you go to sleep? 11. Fuck oh, off. This yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> I went to bed at 11. <coughs> last week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I haven't slept since. Yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. All in all, um, happy boys. Yeah, happy, happy. Always. Happy, 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 happy. Episode one's always nice to get the uh, cobwebs off. Yeah, blow the cobwebs off, off, get into it, get a feel for it. Get a feel for it, have a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy Jack. Oh, I can't wait till we get to episode five or six shopping. We're still happy and buzzy. And yeah, yeah no. Jack's crying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm at a dangerous caffeine level right now. I feel fantastic, but <laughs> fucking hell, it's coming down. <laughs> it's going to go one way, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, don't forget to follow us on uh, social media. Don't forget to like and subscribe all the videos on YouTube and whatnot. Don't forget to give us a review on Apple Podcasts. Don't forget to check out our personal social accounts. Uh, we all do a little bit of this and that and the other, and sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But yeah, follow us. Uh, Mr. Bryn has got. What are you, Bryn? Bryn Williams uh, on YouTube. Bryn Williams on YouTube. Right, the link on the Yeah. Mad sick. Yeah, go give us a like, give us a subscribe. As of filming, we're on 59 subscribers on YouTube. And if just one person could subscribe, just so it's a nice round 60. Yeah. That's all I would like, because it's been that through like Ideally, a Ideally, we so. can get to 100. Yeah, if we could get to 7 million, that'd ah, be great. Mate, so yeah. we just need 6,994,000. Or... Yeah. 
We need a lot of people, yeah. Um, or what would be good is if any of them 59 people could actually get in touch at all, ever. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. That'd be good. Start being little bitches. Yeah. Just comment on stuff. Just gonna, tell, tell us where you're, where you're from, who you, yeah. if, if you listen to it, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Where you're from when you leave your doors unlocked. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. While we're at it, yeah. Yeah. send in yeah. your listeners' letters because we can't No. Yeah, we're struggling. Any listeners' letters, anything that's pissing you off, anything what? you've just thought about, what anything you want like to ask us say? about. Sorry to be a little mardy bitch about it as well, because I am grateful that people watch. Like, mm. it's good that. But don't. I know if we even if we're friends, don't message me personally to comment. Just comment on it. Comment on yeah, the so thing. Yeah, that's good. That. And then we'll reply well, that, that even way. Even if it's that was shit like, in the live episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do that. It's we, big business. Yeah, <laughs> we like it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we're very grateful, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We do it for the fun. We, no, do, we do it for, for the, the fun, fans. but we've we got a lot of want th- fans. We want to be famous. Yeah, it'd just be good to get something <laughs> back off it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just someone being like, oh, all right. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just anything would yeah. be good at this point. It, it, also, <laughs> well, hopefully season five, we'll have a couple of guests and that. And that yeah. Because you know, we've set up for that again. And we still had the have the giveaway to go out yeah. in last season. Yeah. As of recording. Super secret giveaway. Yeah, as of recording... That hasn't aired yet. So no. We don't know if anybody's seen it or found it or anything no. yet. So we're not going to say too much so that people don't go back. But we will announce that as a separate video on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Regarding that. So, yes. Mm. Yeah. All happy boys. Always, always, always. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been Chunky T. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Jack Magic. See you on the flip side. And I've been the Permanent Sharpie, your favourite mixologist. Check me out in the electric bar. <laughs> <laughs> It'll and be inside. Is, and this has been the Utopia Project. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. Bye. <laughs>